And good evening to you. It's Sunday the 19th of February 2017. Welcome along to tonight's United Kingdom talk. One of our rather right, rare late night chat shows. Well, it's not hardly late night, is it? Eight o'clock at night. Oh, incidentally, there's a good programme on tonight. Um, if you are young, you will like this. It's back, boys and girls. Ibiza Weekender. Well, actually, it's been back a while. I've only just noticed this has come up on my... Uh, on the uh, in the su super sore away sun, yes, uh, the Ibiza weekender head rep David Potts. Now I can't believe I don't know if you follow this Ibiza weekender, but it's about these um, uh, people that go on holiday to to Ibiza. Only young people, you know, not people like me. Oh my word, no! I went to Ibiza in nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety six. 92 or 96. No, I think 1996 I went to Ibiza. I was great. It was all right. You know, we weren't really in San Antonio. We stayed in uh, Ibiza Old Town and es Escanar, I seem to remember. Saragassima. Saragassima. Escanar. That's where we stayed. Lovely place. It was quite quiet where we were. But Ibiza Weekend is where they go to, like, to the main sort of centre of it and there's all outrageous behaviour and all that going on all the time. So I don't know if you want to know that. That's on tonight on ITV2 at nine o'clock. Look how I have positioned this show. Look how I have positioned this show so that I don't lose all my viewers to Ibiza Weekender. Anyway, the new head boy, the head, um, head rep, they call it, is that awful Queen David. Oh, he's dreadful. Keeps screaming his head off. How does anyone like that? And I'm just looking at a photo of it. He's got plucked eyebrows and everything, makeup on. And he's only about 22 years old. What do you look like, dear? So that's on tonight. Keep an eye on that, OK? Uh, let's say hello to our early birds. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, early birds this evening on the show who are with us, joining us nice and early. Gustav says, press your button. Already done that today. Thank you, Gustav. Hello to Shania. I'm very, very pleased to announce that Shania and her father have now received their United Kingdom Talk mugs. Now, if you wanted one of those, there's none left, I'm afraid. This was mentioned a few weeks ago, and I only mentioned it once, and everyone sent their addresses in, so they've all gone out now. But I'm very pleased to see... And I got a mention on Vectis Radio International this afternoon. I was by cast. By cast? Duo cast? Simu cast. I was Simu cast on Facebook Live and Vectis Radio at the same time. How exciting is that? Yes! I was listening this afternoon and they have now received the United Kingdom Talk mugs and uh, Shania presented her father with the United Kingdom Talk mug while he was live on air. So I'm glad. I hope you'll be drinking out of that regular occasions. This. Yes. Although if the handle falls off and you burn your lap with hot boiling tea or coffee, don't blame me. It's not my fault. I didn't stick the handles on. That was some poor old lady in China at one pence an hour. Poor lady. She does her best, though. She does her best. Good evening to Katie Bonwick. Hello, Katie. Nice to see you, darling. Uh, Zach Thompson's with us today. Sharon Stone, my love. Sharon Stone, who I love very much. She used to be a uh, customer at the Black Cap. She's with us this evening. Uh, Stacey's there. Hello, Stacey. Leon Corrigan and his little family there. Hello, Leon. And uh, Adam the Plumber's with us as well this evening. Greetings to you all, boys and girls. I th oh. And I think Ronnie's watching as well. Ronnie, I mean, you might have us just on in the car, I think. I guess you've got us on in the car. OK, now you'll notice I haven't got the little microphone on. Here's the little microphone. Uh, I decided that didn't sound as good as the big old thing that we've got sitting down here. OK, so we'll stick to the big one because uh, that's down. Big is better in this case. Absolutely is. A little bit later, we'll be opening up the phone line uh, this evening. It's not quite uh, open yet, boys and girls. I always like to tell you a little story or two before we delve into the world of your strange but exciting stories here on United Kingdom Talk. I'll be with you till about uh, nine o'clock this evening. All right. Um, so last night, I had a nice night last night. Now, for the first time, we streamed. I streamed one of the drag shows. Now, on a Saturday night, um, I generally work at the, the same place I work at Monday and Friday, uh, but they have drag shows on on Saturday night. So last night, we thought we'd give it a go and stream it. Now, what I was concerned about was 
uh, drag shows can be very rude. Very, very rude. There are words on that show that even I would not iterate on this programme, boys and girls. I would not say those words, but they came across last night as I expected. But no one complained, so we might do that a few more times, OK? Obviously, I need to get the permission of the artists concerned. It generally will be a drag show. You might have a singer in there now and again as well. So that'll be Saturday nights uh, live around about 10.30. Not next weekend, uh, because I'm going up to my sister's next weekend, only for one night, uh, because we've got um, a, a renewal of wedding vows by my nephew and his wife, Stacey, and their three children, Olivia, Harry and uh, Evie will be as well, as, as well as the rest of the family. So I'm going up for that next week. Uh, so I won't be uh, doing any sort of live streaming on Saturday night. But I'm so pleased so many of you, I think about 400 people watched that in the end, uh, the drag show that we did last night. And as I say, you know, I will put a little warning up there. Not suitable for children, contains adult humour, that sort of thing. And if you want, you can watch it. If don't, if not, you know, you know what, what to expect on there. So I'm glad so many of you uh, enjoyed that last night. All right, my darlings? Um, <clears throat> oh, that, that, the, my, my message thing isn't re refreshing quite well today. Hello to Mark Newton tonight. Ah, Mike was a, was a good old black cap customer as well, weren't you, Mark? Oh, the fun we had. The fun we had. And I think I told you a little while ago, once, Mark, <clears throat> once, and you were, you were quite right, actually. Um, I, I think there was a period of time at the black cap, I really thought I was the bee's knees. I <laughs> <laughs> I really did. And you brought me down to earth once and you were absolutely right. And I'm so glad you did that. You know, now and again, you need to be brought, brought down to down to earth. <laughs> so I must thank you for that, Mark. And it's nice to see you've got your little family there as well. Wonderful that everyone's uh, uh, coming together like this. Kate says, uh, it's been a long time. Everything on the Isle of Wight's good. David is going well as well. I'm so glad, Katie. Uh, we have uh, quite a few people watch. Well, another family watch on the Isle. I say quite a few people. Not half the island, you know, not a quarter, not a tenth, not even close. Four, uh, three other people. There's um, Vectis and his daughter Shania. And uh, occasionally, I think Callum drops in as well, but not always. So they're on the Isle of Wight as well, Katie. And it's nice to see you as well, darling. Hello to Elisa. Hello, Elisa. Hope you're well today as well. Nice to see you. Ronnie says, are you feeling better? Hello, Ronnie. Um, uh, I, no, I didn't call you today because you got in at six o'clock in the morning. You can call me now if you, do you want to call in now. Oh, you haven't got time to call poor old Christopher on the phone, have you, darling? There is a phone line if you want to call in, boys and girls. The number will appear on your screen now. How's that? Unless you're watching a recording, in which case it won't appear. All right? It won't appear if you're watching a recording. 020-8144-3477 is the number. Um, uh, no, you, you got in at six o'clock in the morning. How, how can I call you at like 12 in the afternoon? So uh, there we are. Oh, Ron is listening. He's listening. He's listening while he's driving along. We're mobile today. That's my mate, Ronnie, there. My best mate on there, OK, if you're wondering who I'm chatting away to. Oh, there's a call coming. There, there he is. He's on the line. Look, let's have a listen to his, his camp puffy voice. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Chris Reardon. Oh, you want hands-free? That hands-free is very good. It's so I much better am, than your phone as I it is. I on hands-free. How marvellous. Now, I didn't call you today because you didn't, I, you didn't get until six in the morning, did you? Well, no, I said to you that I was going to be up and um, about quarter to eight. And I said, so give us a call to let me know how you was. And you forgot me. You well, forgot me. I was preparing for this worldwide television programme, dear. It's millions of people, program. millions of people, millions of people's entertainment is at stake if I don't turn up. People have committed suicide when I haven't appeared on their screens, you know, on their television screens. Oh, he's got cut off. <laughs> there is a God. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. <laughs> oh, hang on. Have you got cut off or not? Oh, no, you're back. You cut me off. I didn't cut you off. Vile. I didn't cut anyway, you off. You're still there. I can still hear you. How you was? Hey. I was ringing to see how you was. You uh, wasn't very well in the night, was you? No, I wasn't. I was. I was just about to tell that story. I had a bit of a bad night again last night. Yeah. Um, I I got into work. Uh, I sorry. I got in from work, and actually, it, I, I was okay. You know, it was all right. But I didn't sleep for whatever reason. And um, once again, 
I think I, I'd set my alarm for 7.30 in the morning. Now, I got to bed last night at a quarter to two. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be about five and a half hours. I can get by on that. And I've got a feeling it's the, um, it's the very fact that I've set the alarm for so early in the morning. And I think that's what's keeping me awake, actually. Oh, I don't know. Um, but all, I, after I spoke to you, I went to bed. I got up for um, a tea. I don't know what time it was. And I went back to sleep and I had the most horrendous nightmare. Oh. Absolutely horrendous. Tell us. And um, I, I woke, well, um, I dreamt that I was, I, I went back to my, my mum and dad's house and I was still living there. Right. And then I was in my bedroom and I looked out at my mum and dad's house. It's quite big at the front. It's got a large window on the stairs. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I'm looking out this window and this car pulls up, left hand drive car pulls up. And these people get out and they say they're staying in my room. So I start packing my things and then they start taking my things. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, you can't take my things. You can't take my things. And then there was some broken pieces of jewellery. And they was taking us and say, no, they're sentimental. They're sentimental. And then the children started burning me with things. What, what and things? me with sticks. I don't know. They was, I can't remember. They were burning me. Did you say sticks? And then... Yeah, and they was hitting me with sticks. Ah, oh, that'd be the that'd be me. that'd be the fight we had in the kitchen the other day. Sticks. Do you remember that? Oh, he's got cut off. <laughs> he's got cut off. Dear. I know there's a bit on the M3. He's got hands free, but there's a bit, a little bit on the M3 where he always gets cut off when he's chatting away to us. Yes. Um. Uh, so hopefully he'll call back again in a minute. There he is, back on the line there. Were you on that part of the M3? You usually get cut off there, were you? No, no I'm, on, I'm on the M4. Yeah, oh. and then and then I was in the. They put me in the boot of this left-hand old car, and I was breathing on the back window, trying to write help. <laughs> Hopefully, and then I woke up. And did anyone come and help you? No. Funny that. Yeah, I woke myself up, and I I I, I, went I turned all the lights on in the house. Checked all the jewellery, make sure all the diamonds were still there. Checked my wallet and the money was still there and all the credit cards. Oh, because you got, oh, you, a got terrible, you got you got you got a black diamond from your other half for your birthday. Uh, what was it for? Not for your birthday. Valentine's Day. For Valentine's, Valentine's a black Day. diamond. Yeah. Is it very I big? Got, I got. It's very lovely. Um, I I got him one hundred and one roses. Right. And he got me a black diamond, a black one carat princess square cut diamond. I don't Funny really... enough, I'm wearing it this evening. I don't really know what that is. Is it a ring or something? No, it's a di it's a di just a diamond, a well, diamond what... stud, in set in platinum, and it's, I wear it as an earring. Oh, an earring. Okay, an earring. Like a like a square, oh, well. like a square diamond. If you like that sort of thing, I suppose, because you like jewellery and all that. See, I've never understood jewellery. I just don't get it. Look, there's none. I don't understand why no, someone I, would pay I, thousands I, of pounds I, for a diamond or a bit of metal going around their neck. I love it. You know, you know, I've got lots of lots of diamonds, rings and chains and earrings and things. And you know lots, what would lots, suit lots, you? Lots, you know what would suit you? No, a I, ring through your nose, like some of them have. Oh no! Do you know, there was two people in there was two people in the place where I was last night, and they had those, and they just look awful. Oh, they, they just ghastly. look absolutely. Awful, but they, they wasn't skinny ones. <laughs> they was they was fat like your sausage fingers. But what do you mean my so my fingers aren't fat? I've got piano for oh, ear so ear at church. I went fingers. to that other church again this morning, and I offered my I organ think... services, but they were not required. Oh, that's because you're you're an amateur. Well, I'm, I don't read music. I can play by ear, can't I? I listen and play, yeah, but they were no, not that required. Is very good. That I do, that I do take my hat off if I had one on. Oh. I do take my hat off to you about that because that's something very clever to be able to do. Thank you. Is play music by ear. So you have you have a a note of gratitude in my voice for that. I could I go mean, and the rest get of stuff about you is absolutely rubbish. I could. There you go. Sorry, I could go and get my portable organ now out of the cupboard and give you a couple of hymns. No, thank what... you. Are you no, sure? No, you... no, no, no. Thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely okay. sure. Absolutely sure. Oh, so, okay. Well, thank you. I'm glad to know that you're feeling better, and thank you for letting me on your yeah, I... on your little 
A little YouTube show, dear. Well, I'm feeling better. And I didn't I didn't feel better till about an hour ago. And I got up after my afternoon siesta and I had two two sachets of my special powder. And then about half an hour later, yes. And Angel now I feel delight. a bit better. Yes, yes. Did you so, have Angel Delight? No, I've I've had half an Angel Delight for lunch. And I'm gonna have another, right. another. I've got another half in the in the fridge for when I'm watching Ibiza Weekender. You like that, don't you, Ibiza Weekender? Oh, I do. Yes, I like. The oh, right. on that you know, you know the fat queen in it, the really fat camp yeah. one. Apparently, he's head yeah. rep now. He's what? He's head rep. Oh my lord! I know. Can you imagine what he's getting those poor boys to oh, do. Oh my word! Just dreadful, dreadful people, dear. Absolutely. Anyway, enjoy now, your I'm evening. One, You're going out last, for a little... One last note, dear. Huh? One last note. Yes. Um, before I go. So, remember I filled my car up the other day uh, for £1.18.9? Yes. Uh, that was I at got, the golf garage, um, yes. That's correct, yeah. Now, it's gained 130 miles already with driving at 55. There you are, 56. you see? You and, see? Uh, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know what it'll be. I'm, I'm going to leave it until... Obviously, it's empty and see how much I get out of a tank. Yeah. But it's obviously working. I told so you, didn't I? Yeah. Everywhere yeah. Quite fast. It's just very uneconomical. If I can just explain, um, a while ago now, I, 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 probably about nine months ago, I decided to start driving slower uh, simply to save fuel. And I do 55, no more than 60 mile an hour, generally 55 mile an hour on the motorway. And I stick to all the speed limits and uh, I do quite well. Um, and uh, Ronnie has just started doing it now and he's really noticed the difference. It's not like just a few miles you save. You do save no, quite... You can get like another 80, got, 100 I, miles out I, of a no, tank. No, I got 100 and, over 150 out the last one. Yeah, but I mean, you used to go mad on the way home. I remember. Oh, I did not. Oh, you did, dear. Christ the almighty. Is the, the speed limit the, is 100 miles an hour. The the speed the speed cameras couldn't even get you. You were going so fast. I know that's what you get for driving such a powerful car. <laughs> <laughs> now there was Thank something you. else. There was something else. I was just going to say to you then. Oh, it's gone out of my head now. No, it's gone. It's gone. Not to worry. Well, thank you for calling in. Not Enjoy fine. your night. Oh, hang on a minute. No, no I problem. nearly forgot. You're very excited tomorrow, aren't you? Because you are getting a new window. Oh, I'm getting a new window for my bedroom, yes. Yeah, and why is that? You've got mould in the house, haven't you? Well, yeah, there's a... Well, on one side, it's, it hasn't come back, and on the other, it's just a tiny bit. So I think once the window goes in, it will stop completely. You reckon that will stop I don't it? think... I don't, yeah. I, and then, uh, and then, and then, 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 it's, then it's all going to get decorated. How exciting! We decorated, but that's after my transatlantic trip to New York. New York, New York. Da 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 da. Uh, uh, uh. Very much looking forward to that. Flying with Virgin upper class there and back, and staying at a hotel called the Gansevoort. Well, you Park enjoy Avenue. it there. It's lovely. Is that one of those um, self-service hotels where you kind of, you know, check in and do it all yourself, like a travel lodge? Is it? No, it's it's a no. It's a it's a boutique hotel where when you when the car pulls up, they open the door for you. You get out, and then they take the luggage. You don't speak to the people. Is it a camping? Is it a camping site? Is that it? No, it's called the Gansevoort, and it's on uh, Park Avenue. Uh, 420 do, Park Avenue South. Do they uh, do the they do they set up the tents for you, or, or do you take your own tent there? It's not a tent. We have what's called a Gansevoort suite. What Gansevoort tent is, is it? No Gansevoort suite. It means it has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a dining room, a living room, and um, and like a kitchen area where you can is, make coffees and things is it like an in, that. Is it an inside toilet? Uh, which one? They're both inside. Oh, aren't they? You haven't got to go out and share a toilet? No, I mean, they're the hotels that you stay in, not the hotels that well, myself good, and uh, Andy stay in. You know what they got there? If the other 18 viewers want to look, it's called the Gansevoort. G A N. E-S-V-O-R-R-T. You know what? You know what problem they? You know what problem they got in some of the hotel? A lot of the hotels in New York at the moment. You know they got bed bugs, don't you? Bed bugs, dear. Not this one. 
dreadful. Not this one. You want to take your own bed Not in or to one. take some of like that disinfectant spray? Well, I, I don't need to because it's not that sort of hotel. Do you want to borrow I my mean, cat? Like take take one it's of your cats like along with you. Eat the bugs. No, it's not like one of those hotels in uh, in Vegas. So what was that one called? The Flamingo. It's oh, not I like took that you one, there. You know, that was a lovely hotel, that was. And who was on no, there? Was... Donnie and Marie. Yeah. Yeah, but if you remember, and that hotel was so bad. And they called it Puppy Love. It was so bad. We had to change the shower. Sorry? We had to change the shower. didn't work. The shower I mean, was fine. Work, you, you just had to let it anyway. run for ten minutes, that's all. <laughs> It dribbled out. <laughs> it was funny getting up in the morning with your feet sticking to the carpet, weren't it? Was, did you notice that? Oh, mild, mild, absolutely vile. <laughs> oh, you know what? I missed a the trick there. I could have got your photo up. Do you want me to get your photo up while you're chatting away? Or are you going to go a, now? Is it a nice photo? Is it a nice photo? Well, I just choose one off your Facebook, to be honest. Let's have a look. What one do you want? Let me have oh, a look the, at your Facebook, because the... people are wondering what you look like now, I think. Let's just get that up there. What one do you fancy? Anyone in particular you want? What about you and Andy? Uh, yeah, that one, or the one of me standing next to the um, next to the marina in Dubai. That's a lovely photo. <laughs> Where's that one? Or the one, in, or the one on the, or the one where I'm, I'm on the beach in uh, in the in, in the Maldives. Um, lots to choose from, dear. Lots of places and lots to choose from. Let's see. I don't know which one to choose, really. There's so many of them. Do you know I have 28,000 photos on my phone? Let's see. Oh, hang on. Is there one of you in a boat there? Are you in a boat? I oh, think what, you're in well, a boat well, or something. I like that one to do. With my hair flapping in the wind. Oh, no, I think that's Ireland with Wayney. With Wayney. Um, oh, right. That might, be, that might be with Mummy. There's one with your mum. Okay, I've Ireland. got one. I've got one. Hang on. Let's just download that. It's all very clever because I can put people's pictures up now, you see. I put people's pictures up now when they come through. And now I've got to yeah, rename it. Put, it's I all very complex. Like. Eh? Oh, I can't check to see what it looks like, can I? No, unfortunately not, dear. One moment, please. Well, I've, a... I've got to... Just a minute. It's very, very complicated. Videos and pictures. Well, that, that's because you're an amateur. Hang on. Uh, you know... What do you mean, Amateur. This is a professional television don't... program, if you don't mind me saying. What are right. you talking about? You do a YouTube video from your from your spare bedroom in your house. Right, just a minute now. Those of you watching the show, that the screen will go blank in a second, but only for a second. Those of you watching it live, camera one and Ronnie. Just a moment, camera one and Ronnie. Oh, hang on, no, done that wrong now. Done that wrong. Just a second. I'll have to be come careful. Back to now. Be careful you don't put one of your pictures up. One I've of your done... special pictures. What do you mean one of my special pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, I haven't got any special pictures on it. Right, hang on just a minute. Let's just do that. We're not getting any of the news stories done yet. Right, hang on. Well, I've got to add something now. Where's the, where's the camera gone? Just a moment now. <sighs> Video capture device. Camera one, there it is, and that should be back there. Let's fill the screen up with that, fit the screen, and now your photo comes on there as well. Right, so if Image. I go now, leave it on there so I can have a look to see the photo. Oh, well, I'm just setting it up now, just a moment. And once it's set up, I don't have to do it again, you see. Okay. Create new. Ronnie, just a moment. Create new. Ronnie, where are you? There you are, that's videos and pictures. Hello viewers, by the way, hello viewers. There you are, that's done there. Oh, hang well. on a minute, you're covering me now. You're covering me. Okay, I'm going to have a, qu I'm gonna have a quick look, so leave it there for a few seconds. Uh, hang on a minute, no, I'm just, just doing it now. There we are, and that should be set there. And let's do the camera. Right, we'll leave it there for another 10, 15 seconds and, and talk a while. I was going to have a look. Bye, everybody. Thanks for letting me talk. Well, what, the thing is, Bye. the thing is, once you've gone, the picture goes. Ah, well, you, you, you'll send me a picture of it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on a minute. Just a minute, will you? Waste of time me doing it if you're going to go already. Hang on, let me push it up there a little bit. There you go. You've done it. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it up there for another few moments for you, OK? 
Okay. All right. So well, you can goodbye. have a quick look. I'm glad you're feeling better. You can have a and quick I'll look. And I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you later. Rightio. Lovely to talk to you, dear. And you. Bye, everybody. Cheerio. Bye-bye. There we bye are. Bye. Best friend Ron calling. Bye bye. It's not often he calls in the show. You don't usually get much... Um, much uh, uh, What's the word? Much enthusiasm from your friends when you're doing this sort of thing. Anyone anyone doing this sort of thing will tell you the same. You, don't, you honestly don't. You get no enthusiasm from your friends at all doing anything like this. OK, uh, going to say hello to uh, Dino's with us today. Hello to Dino. Uh, good morning, you Paul McIlroy. Have you done any videos yet, Paul? Don't know if you've done any videos yet. Let us know where they are. Uh, nephew Jimmy Butler's with us today as well. London 206. Thank you very much. OK. Uh, so I was just telling you about my day, actually. So I didn't sleep at all well last night. Um, and I think I had the, the, the alarm set for 7.30 in the morning because I used to go to 9 o'clock mass. Um, but I, I, I went to bed at about a quarter to two and I was tossing and I turned in there. And then I'd hear that, because I've got, this chiming clock goes all night long. You know, it doesn't keep me awake. But when you are awake, of course, you can you, you can hear the blooming hour going off. And it was three o'clock, then it was four o'clock. And I, at, at six o'clock, I kind of gave up. I thought, oh, I'm going to get up and have a cup of tea. And my stomach was turning over as well. I hadn't had much to eat, fun left. Although I did have an entire bat, family pack of salt and vinegar crisps like yesterday. You know, and I, I wonder if it was anything to do with that. So six o'clock, I got up and had a cup of tea and I looked at my phone because I've got that find your friends thing, you know, and Ronnie's on that funnily enough. And he was on the motorway. So I gave him a ring. I said, oh, I feel dreadful today. Um, so I watched a little bit of casualty. I've still got the rest of that to watch tonight. And um, then eventually I went back to bed and I thought, well, you know, I can't get up at 7.30 now. It's ridiculous. So I unset, I unset the alarm and I thought, well, wake up when you wake up. Anyway. Um, I think shortly after that, I probably fell fell to sleep, which would have been about up past six, quarter to seven. And I woke up again at ten. So ten o'clock came. And the, there's there's another church I go to now, uh, Sacred Heart in, in Sunningdale. That's lovely there. Some really expensive houses there. Very expensive. You only got to look in the church car park. You know, Mercedes, BMWs, great big blooming things they are. And... Um, they have an 11.30 uh, mass there. So I thought, I'll go to that, because I hadn't been to that one before. So I went to it, and I'm sitting there, and I thought, well, that's strange. The hymn numbers are not up on the board. Anyway, so the bell rings out, they come. No hymns! It's an unsung mass! Oh, I was so disappointed. I do like to sing at full volume. All the hymns that I learned at school, I loved. So, and there were no hymns. Very, very disappointed. But there were nice people in there. And um, I, whoever sits next to you, oh, you never get lonely in a church. Someone always starts talking to you. And I recognise the people that uh, used to go to church in Bracknell, St. Joseph's in Bracknell, where I used to go. Um, so I had a chat with them while we're doing it. And at the end, I, I grabbed hold of the priest and uh, I said, do you need an organist for, for Sunday? I, I felt that I should offer my services, you know, not for money. You, you would do it free of charge. And he said, well, uh, that, that particular service is always spoken and quite quick, you know, short and sweet. That's how it's always been there. So I thought, OK, that's fine. And that was it. Came back here. Um, and today I've done, I've done gardening today. I mowed the grass. Now, if you've got a garden, you might think that's a bit strange in the middle of winter. But it has grown a bit and it was ever so messy. Leaves and I'm surrounded here by pine trees and you get the needles dropping all over the place. Uh, so I, I, I and once you've mowed the grass quite low down, if you mow it, then that picks up all the rubbish that's on there as well. You know, the dead leaves. Uh, I get a lot of pine cones and if you walk on them, they get trodden into the ground. You've got to pick, kind of pick them out carefully. Let's get rid of Ronnie's photo. Now that's enough looking at that, I think. <laughs> Just a minute. There we go, that's better, he's gone now. Um, so I did that. I had some lunch. Um, what did I have for lunch today? I can't remember. Oh, two, ve two veggie burgers and some vegetables and half of my angel delight. The other half's waiting downstairs for me now. Then I came back to bed and I, had, I still got this bad stomach. I got up and I've got these two sachets of powder because I have a lot of trouble with my stomach. I really do. Uh, funnily enough, I've got, I think I've got a scan this week. I've got, I've got two appointments at the doctor's. Hang on a minute. Oh, do you know, there's so much rubbish on this desk at the moment. Just a minute. Let's have a look. Credit card statement. Oh, we don't want to look at that until the due date. Do we? Here we are. I've got, there's, there's two things here. I've got one at, one near me. I've got, oh, it's Monday the 27th. Oh, is it? 
I don't know, I thought that was... What's... Oh, it's, oh, that's fallen down, isn't it? Look, that's fallen down. One minute. Monday the 27th. Oh, it's... I thought it was Friday. Oh, good job I looked at that, innit? I thought it was on a Friday. What did I put in my calendar then? One minute. One minute, one minute. Oh, I have put Monday. So Monday the 27th. Is that next Monday then? Oh, I'm going to have to come back on the Sunday then. I was hoping to come back uh, perhaps Monday morning, but I'm going to have to come back from the sisters on the Sunday now instead. Oh, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Because I don't... I know you can you can change appointments with hospitals and all that. I know. I don't like to do that. I feel it's taking the mick. You know the, 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 you know what the NHS is like. You know, so, so I'm grateful to get any appointment, to be honest. So um, I'm, I'm having a scan uh, here in Bracknell, actually. It's not far from here at all. They've got a, an outpatient set at the radiology department. Nothing to eat or drink for six hours. Please wear loose clothing. None of them's loose. None of my clothing's loose. <laughs> um, uh, take your tablets as usual. That's all right. So I've got that on Monday the 27th. And the, a week after... I've got to see a, a, a gastro, what is it, a gastro specialist, where was it now, a gastroenterology team on the next Monday at 9.50 in the morning. So I've got those two things to do and they're going to have a little bit of a look at my tummy to see if we can find what's going wrong. Because it's been going on for only a year now, sick to death of it, a year. All right, let's do some uh, more messages for you this evening, boys and girls. Coming through quickly. There is a phone line open as well. If you want to call in at any point, then feel free to do so. Uh, Alan says, have you got any cleaning vacancies going? Ah, no, Alan. No, because I did my own cleaning today. Yes. I've had a bit of a problem. I've got one of those stainless steel sinks. And I had the spray. I don't clean it regularly. You know, my mate, and I'm sure my sister, they, they do the sink. Every day they clean the sink. End of the night, clean the sink, go to bed or whatever. I don't know how they do it. You know, whatever time of the day. I'm sure they do it every day. Well, I'm lucky to do mine once a month. <laughs> Isn't that awful? I mean, <laughs> you know, there's not. it's not like there's food or anything like that on it, but I only do it once a month. And what's been happening is that scale has built up. So I had that spray on via cow stuff, but that was, to be honest, it was useless. It didn't seem to do anything. But today, on the way home from the church, I popped into um, Waitrose in Sunningdale and I found this pour on, this pour on via cow stuff. So I left it on for five minutes, give it a rub and it's all gone. So nice, clean, shiny sink. Let's ask Elaine in Israel if she has shiny sinks. Good evening, Elaine. How are you, darling? Hi, good evening, Chris. Good evening, everyone. Yes, All right. I do have shiny sinks, actually. You do? Yes, I do. Have you got stainless steel where you are? Uh, yes, but, but we don't. Uh, stainless steel is usually for industrial kitchens. We have ceramics for our patio. Oh, homes. yes. Ceramics much nicer. You know what I really like? You know those really deep sinks? I can't remember what they're called now. Um, are they called school basins or something? But they're ever so basin, deep. Basin, yeah, basins, they're, yeah. They're about a foot deep. A foot deep they are. <laughs> Do you know? Oh yeah. I don't know why anyone would need such a deep sink unless they wash their dogs in them. <laughs> or cats. Oh, I could do or with, cats. My yeah. cat's paws need washing at the moment. She's been walking around in her own mess again. Oh, oh dear. poor thing. Yeah, yeah, poor old soul. I was telling my sister. I... Sorry, Elaine, carry on. No, 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 go ahead. I was telling my sister about that earlier, and she said, well, she won't like that because cats are very clean animals. I just don't, I don't think she's aware of a lot of what's going on around her, bless her out. Round and round in circles she goes, Elaine. Oh. Tell, tell me, Elaine, your house um, uh, out there, is it normal to buy housing there or to rent housing there? Or about 50-50? Or how, how does it work there? Because in this country, we all aspire, I think, to owning our own homes. Whereas in Germany, or somewhere like uh, Germany, they mainly rent places. What, what's, what's the situation in Israel with that sort of thing? Well, I'll tell you. Mostly, um, it's very difficult. The, 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 uh, the price of apartments is very, very high here in Israel. And it usually takes like a few year salaries in order to like to get up a mortgage together. And it's very, very difficult, especially for young couples, young newlyweds who are like trying to get their first apartment and all that. And 
and uh, so so usually in in uh, what young people do, they usually rent, and uh, the rents are also very high now. It's 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 the living living conditions in Israel are very um, uh, hard in terms of prices because there's. Uh, it's not regulated and uh, like any landlord can like say any rent that he wants. It's not rent, rent controlled. And it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, a little disproportionate to the apartments. Like for instance, you could have like a one room, something for like, uh, let's say uh, 700 pounds a month or something like that. Wow. And that's Seven just, or eight hundred pounds a month for like one room or something. It's would you very, get? Would you get your own bathroom? Would Would you get your own bathroom for that or or what? Yeah, you do, you do, but uh, but, but still, the rents are very high, and um, and to buy an apartment is is a very difficult undertaking. Gosh. But uh, hopefully, things are going to get better because our finance minister has promised us, you know. A lot of things, and his campaign promises that he's mm. going to lower the prices of housing, and it's going to make it easier for newlyweds to buy a house. Yeah, I mean, and uh, presu- presumably you know, all, all that all that rubbish. But pre- presumably, it's like here, you know. So in Tel Aviv, it would be dearer than perhaps somewhere a little bit further out in the country. Yes. Yes, that's and true. Ju- yes. What's What's dearer, Tel Aviv or Jerusalem? Jerusalem. Uh, no, Tel Aviv actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How much would Jerusalem? Um... Jerusalem has a Jerusalem has a very uh, um, certain uh, has a certain population. Right. Like Jer- uh, Jerusalem is more like like the religious uh, uh, people, other than Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is more secular. Okay. And uh, the prices are 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 higher in Tel Aviv than they are in in Jerusalem. Oh, I understand. Yeah, uh, you're you're outside of both of those, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm further south. Yes. How much would uh, it cost to for a one bedroomed, um, but you call them bungalows? No, it's not a bungalow. They they're they're, uh, um, they're apartments, right. and there's like two or three. What we call a room. Yeah. Is, uh, is 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 like uh, a, a living room is considered a room. Uh, right. um, a bedroom is considered a room. So, like, if you have a room, if you have an advertisement that says like there's there's a three room, then that usually means a bathroom, a bedroom, and a living room. Oh right, okay. That's usually what it means. Oh, I understand. But, well, it sounds nice where um, you live. I know you do a lot of these. I've, I've just found a little picture of you, Elaine. I hope that's okay to put that up, darling. Is that all right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no? Okay, I'll take it off again, darling. I always like to check first. One minute here, you've gone. You've gone again. There we are. <laughs> it, it was the one with your pink. You've got a lot of pink on. It's gone now, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I should ask, really, before I put these things up. It's gone now. It was on screen for about three seconds. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, I, actually, the reason I called up was just to tell you that tonight I had my first radio show. Oh, yes, you've got a new radio show, haven't you, over in his... Yes, go on, tell yes, us, tell it's us. it's called Laney's Lounge. What music did you play? I uh, I did like a theme of uh, dreams. I had I had a playlist of songs yes. with the common thread uh, among them being dreams. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, I played uh, uh, Dream a Little Dream of Me, and I played uh, uh, Dream a Little uh, Dream of Me. All I have to do is dream. And, uh, I'm dreaming of a away. white Christmas. Bit late for that, really, dear. Sorry? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, or a little bit late for that, do you think? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> sorry for this year, but, uh, yeah. But uh, I also had a... a uh, put your dreams away and shattered dreams and uh, electric dreams. All right. So you're going to have a theme theme for your show every week, are you? Yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, that's what the stage manager says. I should have and, a, a theme for every show. And that's just you so, on your own. There isn't anyone like a co-presenter or anything like that. 
Oh, uh, no. no. No, no, no. You don't need a co-presenter. A lot of people have got co-presenters. I, I think it's unnecessary. I find it very messy. And um, certainly here in the UK in the mornings, they tend to have, like, a girl and a boy presenting. And they're all laughing. Ha, 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 ha. And it just it doesn't do it for me at all. It starts. It can sound very messy when two people are trying to present a show at the same yeah, well, time. I think. Well, this one. Well, this is at eight o'clock at night, so it's a little uh, a little different. Nice and laid back. Presenting. Yeah. Nice and yeah. laid back. My favorite place when I was um, in Tel Aviv a couple of years ago. My favorite place to eat. There was this Mexican place. Um, I think it was part. Ta Do you have Taco Bell there? Uh, no. <laughs> now, what was no. it called? It was probably called the Tapas Bar, maybe. Possibly, possibly, but it wasn't far from the um, from the sea, you know. And that's where yeah, I went. Yeah, right, went. right. And they were very friendly. A place called Tapas Bar on Allenby Street, yeah, which is very, not far from the sea. Very friendly in there, really. You could just walk around at night, and it was ever so nice walking around at night around there. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mm. All right, Elaine. You know, well, thanks for calling in, darling. Of course. Well, I just had to let you know, and I had to share with everyone how, how wonderful it was. And, this is excellent. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Don't Never feel afraid to put that on my wall if you want people to see it, and maybe they listen to you next week. Yeah, thanks very much, Chris. Good All night, right, everyone. Elaine. Lots of love to you, darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheerio, Elaine. Oh, there's our lovely Elaine calls in often from, uh, from Israel. Uh, now, what have we got? There's a couple of news stories I was going to do with you today. Got so many bits of paper here, honestly. There we are. Yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, boys and girls. The Beauty and the Beast live film is coming to a cinema screen near you soon. Look at this. With an all... Oh, I can't see the writing. Oh, no. Where's the glasses? No, it's okay. They're here. They're here. With an all-star cast and magical sets, it's one of the most hotly awaited family films of the year. This is in this morning's Daily Mail. But while millions of pounds have been lavished on Disney's new Beauty and the Beast, its makers seem to have had a paucity, a paucity of... A, what's, what's that mean, paucity? Paucity, P-A-U-C-I-T-Y. I don't know what that means. A paucity of original ideas, judging by the uncanny resemblances between those shots and the studio's 1991 animated version. No one didn't know it was only 1991. So actually, that Beauty and the Beast film isn't that old, is it? 91, 01, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's 25 years old now, 26 years old, isn't it? One scene shows Harry Potter star Emma Watson as Belle and Downton Abbey's Dan Stevens as the Beast. Ah, ah, the Beast is here! Yes, in exactly the same clothes as their cartoon counterparts and locking arms in an identical pose. Oh, I can only hope of locking arms with, with my Prince Charming one day. I'm still wait. I haven't gone on. F I, I just want to. I just want to publicly say, I still haven't quite gone off Cristiano Ronaldo yet. I am still available, even though you're looking a little bit older now, my dear. You really are. I still quite like Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, thank you. Um, the painstaking reproduction continues when Belle scrolls through her village while reading a book. Well, of course it does. I mean, this is a bit of a no-news story, isn't it? Don't you expect it to be like that, though? Wouldn't you expect a live version of an original film to be back? Surely. Surely you would. I don't know. Um, there's even a repeat of the moment the vil villainous Gaston. We don't like Gaston, do we? Oh, it's nothing worse than an alpha male, is there? Who thinks there's so blooming important? I, I was a bit like that in the nineties, actually. No, <laughs> there's nothing worse than an alpha male who thinks it's so important that they should do everything that you, they tell you to do. Dear me. Anyway, there's even a repeat at the moment. The villainous Gaston, played by third British star Luke Evans, admires his reflection in the mirror. Oh, my mate does that all the time, Ronnie. Is he's not? Let me just check. He's not with us now because I can tell. I can tell whether he's here or not. No, thank God he's gone. Oh, hang on. No, 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 he has gone. Um, <laughs> but film go of goers will be relieved to learn there are at least some differences between the two versions of the fairy tale. In the new Beauty and the Beast, which is released in cinemas on March the 17th, Belle, not her father, is an inventor and new songs have been added. 
to those featured on the on the 1991 soundtrack. Oh, so that's good. And it's got a few pictures in the Daily Mail this morning. Um, there's lovely Emma. Can you see her there, darling? Is, is, is Emma the one that's been going on all these political things? Is she liberal? I don't know what she's what, what side of the fence she's on, but is one of the stars that keeps mouthing off about breakfast. So I can't, I can't bre uh, Brexit and all that business. And there she is there. So really, really looking forward to seeing that Beauty and the Beast, uh, the live version of it. Often when you go to uh, the Disney places like uh, Florida Disney, you know, Disney World or Euro Disney, some places like that, uh, they, they do have kind of mini shows where you all go to a theatre, uh, the show runs several times a day and you get like 20 minutes worth of, of Beauty and the Beast or something like that. And it really is quite magical, you know, when you're sitting there and you can lose yourself in it, you know, just, just ignore everything around you for a while and be in the moment when you're sitting there watching that show and it's really very nice indeed. Uh, Katie says um, she's hoping to move back soon to Sandown. Uh, which is, of course, uh, on the Isle of Wight, where she is already. I don't know uh, how it works, what what are nice parts of the Isle of Wight and what are not so nice, or is it just all nice? I'm not sure. I'm hoping to go and visit there at some point this year, incidentally, um, which I'll, I'll, I'll rent a, a caravan on the island. Oh, incidentally, talking of caravan renting, now you know I go on and on about this. I know I probably go on a little bit too much about caravan, but I love caravans. I love caravan holidays. If you want a cheap caravan holiday... Just try it out for once. You can get tokens from the sun. Now, you do not have to buy the sun to get the tokens. Because my lovely niece, Tracy, she has told me to type in tokens for sun holidays. Just type that into your search bar. You'll come up with all the tokens that you need. OK, and, and then you put them into this like site, it's, it's all explained here. Just type in tokens for sun holidays and you'll find it all there. And then you, you have to give your choice of four holiday destinations and four different dates. And it will tell you what to, if none of those are available, it will give you some other options. And then you can try a caravan holiday for like 40 or 50 quid. Honestly, it really is worth doing. And um, the first one, I, I, I wanted to uh, go up and see my sister around April, May. Now the usual, caravan place I use up there is Tattershaw Lakes, which is it's just beautiful up there. It really is. But there's no offers on at the moment. And a four four night holiday was coming out at like 350, 400 quid. Not for a caravan, love, you know, not for a caravan. So I want some sort of offer. Unfortunately, I typed in all the dates I wanted for Tattershaw Lakes and uh, none of them came up, unfortunately, although it did come up further up towards the northeast uh, in Skegness. Now, Skegness is about a 45-minute drive from my sister's, so I suppose I could go... I mean, 45 minutes is actually not a long time in my car. I, I'm quite happy to sort of do 45 minutes in the car. Um, so I might do that. I haven't decided yet. Or I might come to the Isle of Wight earlier than I expected, but I'm definitely open to come to the Isle of Wight and visit uh, Vectis Radio this year. I am. Uh, hello to Kiki D who says, I think I've told you that already. Not much happens in my life. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, I'm, I'm starting at the top. I've got to move down. I've got to move down. Uh, oh, Adam says those big sinks are called butler sinks. Thank you very much, Adam. I knew someone would correct me. They're, they're lovely. I love butler sinks. I'd like, I might have my kitchen done one day. I don't know. Uh, I had the kitchen done years ago. A friend of mine did it, actually, Steve. And he did it years and years ago when he went, went, when I first moved here in 1992. I think I moved here in 92. So I've been here quite a long time. 92, 02, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think it's 25 years I've been here now. And I'll never forget. It was the year Windsor Castle caught fire. Do you remember that? long time ago and we were driving on the m4 and we saw all the smoke coming from the castle so that's that's how i remember that day it was november november 1992 i moved out here and i think 1993 early i had the kitchen done that's how old the kitchen is 25 years dear well it still works here the door the cupboard door still, and all i've ever t had to change is one runner on the drawers and it was mfi at the time which no longer exists of course I think I'd go for something a little bit better this time. Yes, yes. With a lovely stone floor and all that. Uh, Ronnie says that's a very nice photo we saw of him earlier. Uh, if you missed it, I'll show it to you again, boys and girls. Here's a little picture of my best mate if you wonder what he looked like. Uh, I have to tell you, you know, when when we're out... Where has he gone? I've lost him now. Oh, there he is. Ah, and we need to remove Elaine's one as well. There it is. There's Ronnie. There we are. That's my mate Ronnie there. And... Um, 
whenever I wear it, he's the one that gets chatted up, I'm afraid. You know, you no know one comes near me. It's, it's embarrassing sometimes. Sometimes, you know, they start chatting. And as soon as someone starts chatting him up, that's it. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. You know, I might as well not be there. You know. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I had my time. I had my time all by myself. Don't want to be Oh, but anyway, what's the, what else is he saying? Is It's a very nice photo. It was taken on the side of a mountain and Antigua in the Caribbean, where, where him and his other half, Andy, went to stay at Sandals. It was a very nice place uh, and a very nice picture, so uh, there we are. Uh, Alan wants to be my cleaner once a month. No, Alan, I'm not having anyone. I had a cleaner. I had a cleaner. I, I only had her once. The trouble is, I find it really inconvenient to have a cleaner because you can't just say, you know, she comes on Monday. OK, and then open the door and she comes. No, I've got to put things away. You can't just have a cleaner walk in and start moving your stuff everywhere. Oh, I, and I thought, oh, no, I can't be having any of this. In fact, I, I paid her more because I the first time I cancelled her. Ronnie rang up, she, he says, you know you've got your cleaner cut. I said, well, you'll have to cancel her. He said, well, I can't. She's coming at 10. It's 9 o'clock now. I said, well, I'm not ready. I said, I can't have anyone here. No, tell her no. I can't have I can't have her. I'll pay her more next time. So, of course, then I had to have her a second time, which was just around the Christmas. And she did a good job. Nothing wrong with it. She wasn't expensive either. But I just found that whole thing of, oh, oh, she's coming tomorrow. You know, for example, if she was coming tomorrow, I wouldn't be here chatting to you tonight. I'd have to be downstairs putting stuff away. You know, moving the cat stuff out of the way and what have you. And what if she comes... And the cat does a does a does a poo poo on the floor while she's here. Oh, I would I would die. I would. Die. <laughs> oh, that's strange. I'm such a strange person. I really am. So no no cleaners here. Thank you very much, Alan. I'll put up with it. And then once a month, I'll do my shiny sink. I have got actually got a shiny stainless steel sink at the moment. There you are. How's that, eh? Thank you very much. Um. Gustav says, Elaine looks amazing. Oh, no, no, she doesn't want her pictures shown, so that's it. No, we don't we don't argue with that. As soon as it's a little bit like, you know, when we do the karaoke streaming. Now, occasionally you get someone who doesn't want to be on the camera. No problem at all, you know. Or oh, can you turn the camera around? Yep, do it straight away. Don't argue. Just turn the camera around. They don't want to be on. That's it. We don't argue, all right? Uh, Kiki D says, on the subject of stomach people, uh, stomach uh, doctors, I saw a gastroenterologist and had lots of tummy trouble for almost a year like you, Chris. I even had a camera up the other end. Oh, I've had that. <laughs> I've had that. Oh, dear me. And I had it without sedation or pain relief. <laughs> You're impressed, aren't you? <laughs> um, I had a camera up the other end. It was getting intolerable until I met a boyfriend, and it cleared up within a week and never had a problem since. <laughs> eh? How does that work, then? So if you meet a boyfriend, does it mean your stomach clears up? <laughs> you see, I was talking to someone else about this, and he thinks it's also connected in your head, right? Because you think, oh, it's not working now, and it makes it even worse. And I think there's actually a lot of truth, so you need something to take your mind off it. Now, actually, I don't feel too much of a problem at the moment. But later on, you know, when I finish doing this and I'm sitting downstairs, I might say, oh, well, that don't feel quite right. And then it starts getting worse. It's a bit like a panic attack, isn't it? Panic attacks can be very, very dangerous. You think, oh, oh, I'm not breathing properly. I know certainly with my um, asthma, which which isn't bad at all. The last few years, it's it's really cleared up quite well. Um, and I managed to clear my asthma up by stop drying clothes in the house. I dry them in the kitchen and on line outside when it's warm enough, but I don't dry them any further than the kitchen now. And uh, my asthma completely cleared up. And, and that was an accident. I just happened to be looking around online once and uh, someone said, do you drive clothes? Talking to someone else, do you dry clothes in the house? And they said, yes, we'll stop. Uh, and they said, we used to drive clothes in the house. I had the most of the worst asthma. It got worse and worse and worse. And then we stopped drying clothes in the house and it cleared up within a week. And the same thing happened to me. It was drying clothes in the house that made it so bad. I get it occasionally now. But nowhere near as bad as it used to be. So it's definitely something to do with that. All right. Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh, Elaine likes, thinks I look sexy in glasses. Do you think so, Elaine? There we are. There we are. I've got my glasses back on now. All right. <laughs> do you think I should wear these when I'm out? 
Just, just a suggestion. I don't know if I should wear these when I'm out. Just, do you think that might help? <laughs> Dear me. All right, now let's see. Sometimes I click on this and um, and the things go a little bit wrong and the messages kind of disappear. See, I can see up to... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. They're back again now. I could I could see up to Kiki D and I couldn't go any further. There we are. Uh, Paul's with us this afternoon. Good evening, Paul. All right. Are you coming back to the karaoke soon, dear? You and Rob Harris, Rob. We miss his singing. We like the musical songs that he used to do. Hello to Jason Carter's with us this evening. Good evening, Jason. Um, Kiki D says, you're missing a trick. It's a technique. Chat up the friend first to make the one you actually fancy jealous. Do you think that will work? I don't know. Jason reckons it's vitamin and mineral deficiencies in my system that's causing the stomach problems. Possibly because I'm a vegetarian and I don't really pay much attention to vitamins. I really don't. Now, our lovely friend Joanna was mentioning this the other day. She works for, uh, I think, a, a vitamin distribution people and was suggesting that actually I do do a vitamin or something like that. And uh, uh, that's quite... Perhaps I should go to Holland and Barrett and just try. Which vitamins are good for, for stomach? Basically, you know, I block up. I block up. I mean, I have to have this... Uh, uh, um, uh, powder stuff, which which attracts water into into the lower part of your stomach and um, uh, sorts it out like that. All right, that, that's what I have to do anyway. Good. Now, what else have I got for you here? Let me have a look. Have we done that one there? Uh, we done that. One? I'm not going to do that one because that looks like a book. It's funny. Sometimes you do um, you you get stories out and you read them before you. I always read stuff before I come up here. Uh, but then I kind of think to myself, oh, I'm not so sure about that one. That looks a bit boring now. Mind you, I've, <laughs> I've, watched, I've, watched this, uh, I've watched this show to myself uh, a few times and I get very bored watching it myself. Oh, it's nearly time for that programme on the telly, isn't it? You'll be all well off to watch Ibiza Weekender. So I'll, I'll disappear now, boys and girls. OK, let's just, uh, let's just get that phone number off there. I'll disappear now. Let's do today's birthdays for you. And we've got quite a few today. Happy birthday to Dave Raval. Happy birthday, Dave. Dave's very big with the uh, Liberal Democratic Party and he's uh, getting on very well with them. And I always have uh, so much um, admiration and respect. Oh, hang on a minute, is that broken? No. I always have a lot of admiration and respect for someone who does something about what they believe in. Now, whether that be, doesn't matter what party it is or what, if it's something to do with religion or something you really believe in, but rather than just talking about it like I do, OK, like I do, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much into um, uh, the animal uh, welfare side of things. That's why I became a vegetarian. But I've never been on a march. I don't donate anything. I don't really do anything to help them. But other people like Dave, who's very much into his liberal Democrat. I think I hope I've got the right party there, Dave. <laughs> I better check. And he was, uh, let's have a look, and he was, and he was for the, uh, to stay in the European Union. Uh, politically, we couldn't be more different, but that doesn't matter. Great deal of respect for anyone who stands up for what they believe in, and uh, Dave does. So happy birthday to you, Dave. All right today, darling. Uh, Ryan Appleby, DJ Ryan Appleby. It was going to give it all up once, weren't you, Ryan? And I told you to stick to it, and he does very well now. Good luck to you, Ryan, and happy birthday to Ryan. Happy birthday today to Stephen Moore. To the lovely Marty Smith. Now, I think you're in Birmingham, Marty, if I remember rightly. 44 today. Happy birthday. Uh, Alan Cole's birthday today. Look like you're very happy there playing the guitar. Lancelot. Wow. That is a name, isn't it? Lancelot. Wow. Uh, Lancelot Fergear. Fergear, I think it is. Fergear. Uh, Stephen Sutton. Chris Scott. Is that Chris Scott who used to do the videos? No, it's another Chris Scott. Okay, Chris. Sorry, Chris. I thought it was a, a video of someone who does video. Uh, Mike Ashen. Hello, Mike. Long time no see. I'm not at the Golden Lion anymore. All right. Did you ever fix my sound card? Doesn't matter. Chuck it in the bin now. I've got another one. Uh, Lorne Lever. Laurie Lever. Sorry, Laurie Lever. Laurie Lever. Laurie Lever. Is that your real name? <laughs> Laurie Lever. Happy birthday, darling. And Tony Culver. Lots of birthdays today, boys and girls. Let's sing the song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 
birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you all, boys and girls. All right, uh, Dino says that is a fab name, Laurie Lever. It is, isn't it? That is a great name, Laurie Lever. Katie says, take care, Chris. It was good to see you. I love to Skype. And yeah, you feel free to Skype in next time we're live. Uh, probably do a live show tomorrow morning. OK, probably at some time tomorrow morning. Early, I say early, sometime around about 10 o'clock, I think we'll do a live show tomorrow if you want to call in then. OK, uh, Adam says, please hello to Sean Stewart, who is watching you and a brilliant nurse in A&E. Hello, Sean. Is that the photo? Have I seen Sean's photo? Is it the Sean that I quite like? Quite dishy. Quite dishy. Oh, not as dishy as me, obviously. I mean, who is? Let's be honest with it. You know, it's not as dishy as me. Uh, all right, Sean. Nice to see you, Sean. And um, good luck to you. And thank you for looking after us all in A&E. Yes, very important job. You don't get enough money and you work too many hours. We all know that, OK? And we're always with the nurses and the doctors. Remember that. Uh, hello to Rachel, who says... Um, uh, Joanna is a sh is is she Shaka Shak Ili Shak Ili, which is something to do with vitamins and all that. Thing. I'm going to start taking vitamins. I am absolutely going to take vitamins. Okay, I'm going to try that and see if that does anything with my stomach. Uh, it would be nice to do it before they want to. I, I, I've got a feeling one of these two are one, going to want to put cameras down my throat, and I'm not looking. I'm really not looking forward to that. But the funny thing is, I don't mind it going up the other end. Isn't that strange? <laughs> it, honestly, it wasn't too much of a problem. But, but the thought of swallowing one. Oh, no, dear. I mean, can you have crisps with them? I mean, maybe if I could, like, swallow the camera with crisps as they went down. Or maybe they could dip it in some sort of cheese and onion sauce so that it goes down easier. <laughs> Just a suggestion. I think I might actually make that suggestion. I want to go and see them, okay? Oh, hello to Matt Gardner. Matt's with us as well. I didn't know you were there, Matt. Hello, Matt. Nice to see you, Matt Gardner. One our one of our top singers, one of our total top singers, uh, who comes along for the karaoke. Are you coming tomorrow? Did you go out? I think you went out Friday night. You were always. You can always have a lift home, Matt, because you're not really not out of the way at all. In fact, I would say no more than five minutes out of the way, okay? For which I'll charge you twenty five pounds because that's cheaper than a train. All right, <laughs> I'm going now. Have a lovely evening, boys and girls. And don't forget, starting now, you just missed the beginning of it, on ITV2, Ibiza Weekender. It's good. See you again soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Cheerio now. Bye-bye.